You're watching UCB1, your source for emergency weather coverage, which is our source for a ratings bonanza. We are entering hour six of beautiful summer day Hector. And if you're not terrified, get that way. Uh, these images are coming from New York City, where the mild weather is completely strange. New Yorkers are expecting weather too humid to move and too smelly to go outside. And obviously that's not what they're getting right now. We have Sue Smith on location in Prospect Park. Sue, can you hear me? I can, Matt. The situation here is almost indescribable. There are blue skies, a nice easterly breeze, thousands of people trapped outside the safety of their homes, clinging to survival. They arrived early this morning with frisbees, with barbecues, and with fear in their eyes. These New Yorkers are dealing with weather as best they can. How long have you been trapped here? Uh, about 20 minutes. Do you think you have enough rations? We're kind of running out of chicken. If you guys have some chicken, that would be great. When was the last time you watched Netflix? This morning. It's been a full four hours yeah. since you uh -huh. watched Netflix. I see you've built a shelter, though. Yes, we have. Yeah. Who would get the shelter first? I would. I would. The dog. Matt, I'm hearing the sounds of ice cream trucks nearby, which is just another reminder there are children out with us here today. Please pray for us. Please. Sue, that is fucking horrifying. I'm sorry you have to be there. We're joined now by Boris Hyken in the UCB1 Weatherplex. Boris, look at this map. No winds, no unusual precipitation, nothing at all. All you see there is that little L. Guess what that means? Those are clouds that look like sailboats and tiny animals. There's no telling when this horror is going to pass. What are the experts saying? Well, Matt, I went straight to the source to find out. Would you consider this to be an unusually nice summer? Probably going back a few years, I can't remember it quite being this pleasant. Normally we're dealing with heat waves, people dying from heat stroke, and so far this year, none of that. In your estimate, how long is this ridiculously beautiful weather going to last? Well, it looks like at least another three weeks of nice weather. Jesus Christ. Do you recommend people call 911 or 311? or try to head directly to a FEMA camp. I, I don't think they need to be calling any of those numbers. The nicer weather isn't a problem. And as for those FEMA camps, I'm fairly sure those aren't set up. Just like New Orleans. You know, I would say this weather is perfect for making love outside, but society says that I can't do that. Well, society probably has the right idea on that one. When do you believe this kind of weather might happen again? Next summer, probably, for at least a few weeks. Holy Lord, so we can expect this to repeat every single year. Is that what you're saying? I would think not. Nice weather can't last forever. You know, it's really nice to hear you say that because sometimes it feels like it might. <sighs> Thank you, Boris. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for UCB1's First Cup, which will of course be dedicated to Hector and a discussion of whether the fabric of society itself can survive this amiable weather. Hi, I'm Eric, and this is Phoebe. We're members of UCB1. Thanks for watching our video. Yeah, if you want to see more UCB1 videos, click on us. Yeah, click right here. It's my favorite clicking spot. Mm -hmm. And if you want to subscribe, click right over here. If you want to see more UCB comedy videos in general, click down there. You got it. You got it. <laughs>